Welcome everybody to week five of the college football season where Oklahoma is coming in at 3-0, ranked number five, taking on unranked Iowa State who is 2-0 coming off of a big win against Iowa who was number six in the country. So Iowa State's going to try to play upset again as OU is in their first conference play of the season and let's get this game started. Iowa State gets the ball to start, first and ten. Sam Richardson drops back, he throws, it's caught by Ekby. First play of the game is a 10-yard reception by Tad Ekby to bring up second and inches. Now on third and inches, Richardson in shotgun again, and it's going to be a read option. He's going to keep it himself, and he is all the way down to the 50-yard line, a 15-yard rush by Sam Richardson, who last year really didn't give us any problems. Second and three, Richardson now. Another read option. He's going to keep it himself on second and three and has another Iowa State first down, a four-yard gain. Now third and 11. Sam Richardson comes out, takes the snap, and he's got good blocking. Richardson dances around the pocket, throws, caught by Bunridge, and he's forced out of bounds, an 18-yard gain, and a Cyclone first down. Now on first and 10, Sam Richardson hands off to Devondrick nearly up the middle, and he breaks a tackle before getting brought down on an 11-yard gain. Only a second carry of the day, but that is a first down for Iowa State. Third and six now. Richardson takes the snap. He throws, it's caught by Cunningham who was brought down in the backfield by Frank Shannon, loss of three. That would force them to bring on their field goal unit. So now he comes out to try to score the first points of the game. And the kick is away and it is good. Iowa State is up 3-0 over Oklahoma right now. We, now we will see how Trevor Knight responds. But first we get a studio update that unranked West Virginia has beaten Texas. That is the second time this season Texas has been upset and they are now 1-3. Last game, Trevor Knight, 13-26, 230 yards, two TDs, and two interceptions. We will see how he does today. First and 10, Knight in shotgun takes the snap. Trevor Knight rolls out to the right side, throws. It's caught by Micaiah Quick, quick across the 50 before getting brought down, a 22-yard gain. Now on first and 10, Knight in pistol takes the snap. Trevor Knight rolling to the right side and caught by Green Beckham, who's got the first down before being brought down, a 12-yard gain. Green Beckham. 11 catches, 244 yards, 3 TDs on the year. Two of them coming last week. Second and eight. Trevor Knight drops back. Knight throws and it is caught by Sterling Shepard, who, if I remember correctly, did not have a single catch against Tennessee. So now it's second and ten. Trevor Knight under center. Hand off to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle. Makes a man miss. Breaks a tackle before being brought down after a gain of eight. So that will give him two carries for ten yards. Now on third and two. It's going to read option. He hands off to Alex Ross. And Ross has the first down on a two-yard gain. And that was really just a broken play that Ross was able to turn into something. Now Trevor Knight comes out, throws, and it's picked off by Knott. And if you remember all the way back to last season, Knott actually intercepted Trevor Knight and returned it back for a touchdown. So he got him for a second year in a row. Now Iowa State's facing a three and out. Richardson takes the snap, throws. It's caught by Tad Ekby, who's got the first down all the way down to the 50-yard line. A 26-yard gain for the Cyclones. And now Richardson comes out on second and 10 in shotgun, takes the snap. Ahmad Thomas on the blitz, and Ahmad Thomas gets him in the backfield. A loss of five by our backup safety. Now on third and 15, Sam Richardson takes the snap, handoff to Devondrick nearly on third and 15. Not really a smart play call. A three-yard gain to bring up fourth and 12 and the ball to go back to OU. So now, first and 10. Hand off to Ford. Ford up the middle. Ford's broken a tackle. He's got a first down. A 15-yard gain by Keith Ford. Now on first and 10. Trevor Knight in shotgun. It's going to be another handoff to Ford. Ford to the outside. And Keith Ford runs over a couple Iowa State players to get another Oklahoma first down. Four carries, 35 yards. Now second and seven, in pistol. Knight takes the snap, throws to the outside, and it is picked off by Gabe Lynn, who then goes out of bounds. But that's already Trevor Knight's second thrown interception. Not a good start for him. Second and eight, Richardson drops back. It's a screen pass. He hits Neely, who is then brought down by Zach Sanchez for a loss of three. That did not fool the Sooner defense at all to bring up third and 11. Now on third and 11 in shotgun, he takes the snap. He's under pressure by Tapper, but he finds Bunridge who was then brought down by Steven Parker, but he still got a huge gain. So now starting the second quarter, Richardson drops back, throws to Neely again, who was able to fight off Zach Sanchez before getting forced out of bounds to bring up third and four. Now Richardson in shotgun takes the snap. Tapper gets by his man, and he throws, and it's tipped away by Hattari Bird, 
who last week had three interceptions, and I thought he had another one there. So second and five, Trevor Knight. It's going to be a jet sweep to Micaiah Quick. Quick to the outside. He's got a lot of room, and he's very fast, but not fast enough. A 28-yard gain, but if he was slightly faster, that could have been a touchdown. So now on third and three, Trevor Knight handoff to Alex Ross. Ross has a first down before being brought down, a 10-yard carry. The Iowa State Cyclones cannot stop the run today. Now on second and 10 under center, Trevor Knight drops back. He throws over the middle, and it's picked off by Knott again. They can't stop the run, but they can sure intercept Trevor Knight at any given moment. So now Iowa State's ball already up 3-0. Richardson handoff to Devondrick Neely. Neely up the middle, breaks a tackle by Stephen Parker before getting brought down after an 11-yard gain. Seven carriers, 27 yards for Devondrick Neely. Second and 10, Richardson drops back. He throws, and it is caught by Ekby before he is forced out of bounds, but he does get another Cyclone first down. So now on first and 10, Richardson handoff to Neely. Neely's up the middle. He's got another Cyclone first down. Three plays in a row where they've moved the chains. Now second and two. Richardson in shotgun once again takes the snap. He throws, and he's got another Cyclone first down before getting brought down. That one was Jawan Wesley, an 11-yard gain. So now second and nine. Richardson handoff to Michael Warren, who's up the middle. He's got a first down inside the five-yard line before being brought down. And Iowa State could easily take a 10-0 lead right here. First and goal. Richardson's going to keep it himself, and he will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa State. And the Cyclones are beating the Sooners by 10 right now as Oklahoma has yet to find the end zone. They need something big to happen to swing some momentum. And that big play could happen right here. The kick is off. And it's Alex Ross back to return. Ross catches it five yards deep in the end zone. He's going to bring it out. Ross across the 20, down the sideline, into Cyclone territory. One man to beat. And that one man can't catch him. Alex Ross to the end zone. Touchdown, OU. That may just keep OU in this football game. That was huge. So now Iowa State's got to try to respond to that. Third and seven. Richardson drops back, and he is under pressure and sacked on the play. Loss of seven. That was Curtis Bolton on the sack. So now second and six. Oklahoma's got to come up with something on this drive. He throws and finds Green Beckham. Beckham is then brought down after a 13-yard gain, and that is only his second catch on the day for 25 yards. So now on second and 12, Knight drops back. It's a screen pass to Keith Ford. For some reason, Ford felt the need to completely spin in the backfield. Only a gain of five. Had he not had to turn around, he could have got a lot more on that. So on third and seven, Trevor Knight. Takes the snap and looking for the first down. He throws and finds Sterling Shepard who makes a man miss. Shepard down inside the 20. A 20-yard 20 gain by our number two receiver. Two catches, 37 yards. So now third and six. Trevor Knight under center takes the snap. Knight drops back and he rolls out to his right side. But he is going to be sacked for a loss of 10. That lineman could not hold his block as Trevor tried to run to the outside. So now Kelvin Taylor will come on for a field goal attempt. And the kick is away, and it, it looks to be good, and it is. So Oklahoma ties the football game. Thankfully for Alec Ross's kick return, we stayed in this ball game, or else this could have been a very different outcome at halftime. OU needs to turn around on offense very fast and find out what exactly is wrong, and the defense just needs to force some more turnovers. So now second and 12. Trevor Knight comes out to start this half. Knight going deep to start the half and it is caught by Micaiah Quick. Quick inside the 20 and brought down inside the 10 yard line. A 60 yard reception to open the half. That I guess is one way to get your team going. Now the very next play on first and goal and Trevor Knight on a read option is going to walk into the end zone. 17-10 OU right now. Well I guess they needed to turn something around on offense and that drive did it pretty well. So now Iowa State's got to try to respond to that. First and 10 for the Cyclones. Richardson takes the snap, throws. It's caught by Bunridge. He was wide open. I don't know why the safety and the defensive back were both playing so far off of him. So now third and three. He sends a man in motion, and it's going to be another read option. He runs into his own lineman, but he still has the first down and a lot more before finally being chased down. A 19-yard gain for Sam Richardson on that play. Now second and 13. Richardson in shotgun takes the snap. Handoff to Michael Warren, who was brought down in the backfield. A loss of two to bring up third and 15. Tapper with his fourth tackle today. 
Now on third and 15, Richardson takes the snap from shotgun. Richardson dances around the pocket, throws it deep, and it's intercepted by Ahmad Thomas. And Thomas is going to try to make a man miss, but really can't. He's brought down at the 20, and that is Iowa State's first turnover of the day. Now first and 10. Trevor Knight is going to be a read option. Handoff to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle. Ford's got a sooner first down, a 13-yard gain, as they're going to try to add on to this lead. So now Trevor Knight on second and three. Takes the snap, and no time. He is hit hard. A loss of eight to bring up third and 11 for the Sooners now. So on third and 11, Trevor Knight takes the snap from shotgun. Knight sits in the pocket, throws. It's caught by Isaac Islana, and he is brought down at the 45-yard line. If someone wants to tell me how to pronounce his name correctly, please do. First and 10, Knight drops back. Trevor Knight throws deep to Green Beckham, who's wide open. Touchdown, Doriel Green Beckham. Green Beckham has three touchdowns in just the last two games. That That's a big part of our offense there. Second and two. Now down by 14. Richardson needs to come up with something. It's a read option. Keep it in himself, and he's got a good gain there. Another 15-yard gain to tack onto his total. Now first and 10. He takes the snap. Richardson sitting in the pocket. Throws, finds Bunridge, who was absolutely leveled by Eric Stryker over the middle. But now it's second and inches. Richardson takes the snap, handoff to Neely, who throws off a tackler, and that was Dominique Alexander, who he stiff-armed, brought down by Eric Stryker. Now third and ten, Richardson drops back, throws deep downfield, and that should have been picked off by Stephen Parker. I said this defense needed to cause turnovers, and they did in the first drive, but they needed to do it a little bit more. Now Keith Ford breaks a tackle and is brought down after a six-yard gain. And is he over 100 yards yet? No, he is not. 13 carries, 78 yards for Keith Ford. So now second and four in shotgun. Hand off to Ford again. Ford to the outside has got the Sooner first down before being brought down. An eight-yard gain by Keith Ford. Now on second and six, Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight throws to the outside. It's caught by Keith Ford who goes out of bounds. A loss of one, so now they'll punt the ball to Iowa State. So now on second and three, Sam Richardson, play action to Neely. He throws and it's caught by Ekby, who's got the first down and gets out of bounds before the end of the third quarter. 17-yard gain. So now on first and 10, 14 seconds to go in the third. It's another read option, but he keeps it himself and throws to Ekby, who breaks a tackle and then is brought down. Second and two for the Cyclones now as we will head to the fourth quarter. So now starting the fourth quarter on second and two. Richardson, it's going to be a play action. He throws. It's caught by Bunridge, who breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle, and Hatari Bird tripped over that guy. So Dominique Alexander is finally able to bring him down, but that could have been a huge play for the Cyclones. Now on first and 10. Richardson, it's going to be a handoff to Warren. Warren is fighting. He's got the first down. Warren down inside the 20, brought down to the 15-yard line. 159 rushing yards today from Iowa State. Now on second and 9. Richardson. Oh, it's a broken play, and he is brought down to the backfield. A loss of five. The halfback apparently didn't know what he was doing, and that gives Matt Demon the tackle. Or Diamond, I'm not really sure. Now Richardson drops back. He sits in the pocket, throws to the outside, and that should have been picked off by L.J. Moore. So the last two drives should have resulted in picks, but didn't. So now on fourth and 14, they're going to go for it. Richardson takes a snap. He's almost met by Charles Tapper, but he only finds Rob Standard. For a three-yard gain, turnover on downs. OU's going to get the ball back. Now, we're already up by 14. Handoff to Keith Ford. Ford to the outside. And he's got the first down and a lot more. A 16-yard gain from Keith Ford. Second and seven. Trevor Knight takes the snap. Handoff to Keith Ford. Ford up the middle. And Keith Ford has another sooner first down. An eight-yard gain on that play. 18 carries, 118 yards. So now on first and 10, it's going to be a handoff to Alex Ross from a jet sweep. Ross to the outside. He's got the first down across the 40 and brought down a 22-yard gain for the Sooners. Now on third and eight, Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight throws it deep, just lobbing it to the end zone. Probably should have resulted in a pick, but it was dropped. Fourth and eight, and we will see what the Sooners do here. They are bringing out Kelvin Taylor for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's got the accuracy, but... It falls short, so no good. 24 to 10, about five minutes to go. Richardson's going to keep it himself, and he's got the Cyclone first down. Breaks a tackle before being brought down by Atari Bird. A 13-yard gain by Sam Richardson. 
So now he comes out on third and eight. Cyclones need this first down. He drops back. And he's in the pocket, and he is sacked in the backfield. I believe that was Jordan Phillips who gets his first sack today. And now on third and five, the Sooners are trying to convert. Here we go. Trevor Knight takes a snap, rolls out to the left side. Knight throws down field and overthrows his receiver. And that will bring up fourth down, and they would punt the ball back to Iowa State. Now on first and ten, Sam Richardson in shotgun takes the snap. Richardson throws deep downfield, and it is dropped for the second time by Stephen Parker. He should have two interceptions today, but couldn't hold on to them. So now on third and one, Richardson in shotgun takes the snap. He's under pressure from Frank Shannon, but he finds Lewis, who is then brought down right before he gets to the 20-yard line, a 14-yard gain by James Lewis. So now on third and ten, under a minute to go. Richardson takes the snap, throws. It's caught by Daly, who was then brought down at the five. Dondre Daly, who might have his first catch on the day. So now first and goal, 54 seconds to go in the ball game. Richardson takes the snap. He throws to the end zone, caught by Bunridge. Touchdown, Iowa State. And they are within a score of this ball game now. Now all they need to do now is get the onside kick. The game comes down to this. On onside kick, and it's away. Recovered by OU's Taylor McNamara, and he is finally going to be brought down. He just needed to go to the ground, but that's going to be the ball game. OU would then run out the clock 24-17. This game was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. I am going to take full responsibility also for those three picks for Trevor Knight because those were all just bad reads by me. I think the first one might have been a good play by Knott, but the other ones were just awful reads by me throwing into coverage. Luckily, we got the kick return for a touchdown to kind of keep us in the game, at least momentum-wise. That's the second game in a row where we've needed something big to happen to get our offense going. Last week, or last game, not last week, last game against Tennessee, it was the pick six by Hatari Bird. This week, it had to be the 104-yard kick return by uh, Alex Ross. I can't even talk right now. Um, next week is the Red River Rivalry, where we play Texas, and God, that's a tongue twister. So hopefully you come back for that one, and we try to get revenge for them beating us last year.